In this example, we will explore the C parameter. Graph each function over the stated domain. The base graph is provided as a convenience. In part A, we'll draw the graph of y equals sine theta minus pi over 2. The C parameter is the phase shift. It specifies the horizontal displacement of the graph. In horizontal translations, the graph moves in the opposite direction of the sine. For example, if we had y equals sine theta minus pi, the graph moves to the right pi units. If we rewrite the function as y equals sine theta minus positive pi, we can observe that c equals positive pi. If we had y equals sine theta plus pi, the graph moves to the left pi units. If we rewrite the function as y equals sine theta minus negative pi, we can observe that c equals negative pi. Let's bring up the graph of y equals sine theta. Before we begin, let's label the tick marks on the x-axis. It takes 4 ticks to get to 2 pi. Divide 2 pi by 4 to get the tick interval pi over 2. Label the ticks. Rewrite the function to get the c parameter. c equals positive pi over 2, so we have a horizontal translation of pi over 2 units right. Translate the graph pi over 2 units right. We are asked to draw the graph over the domain where theta is between negative 4 pi and 4 pi. Extend the graph to fill the domain. This is the completed graph. In part b, draw the graph of y equals cos theta plus pi. Let's bring up the graph of y equals cos theta. Before we begin, let's label the tick marks on the x-axis. It takes 4 ticks to get to 2 pi. Divide 2 pi by 4 to get the tick interval, pi over 2. Label the ticks. Rewrite the function as y equals cos theta minus negative pi to get the c parameter. c is negative pi, so we have a horizontal translation of pi units left. Translate the graph pi units left. We are asked to draw the graph over the domain where theta is between negative 4 pi and 4 pi. Extend the graph to fill the domain. This is the completed graph. In part c, draw the graph of y equals cos theta minus pi over 6. Let's bring up the graph of y equals cos theta. Before we begin, let's label the tick marks on the x-axis. It takes 6 ticks to get to pi. Divide pi by 6 to get the tick interval, pi over 6. Label the ticks. Rewrite the function to get the c parameter. c equals positive pi over 6, so we have a horizontal translation of pi over 6 units right. Translate the graph pi over 6 units right.
We are asked to draw the graph over the domain where theta is between negative 2 pi and 2 pi. Extend the graph to fill the domain. This is the completed graph. In part d, draw the graph of y equals 3 sine theta plus 2 pi over 3. Let's bring up the graph of y equals sine theta. Before we begin, let's label the tick marks on the x-axis. It takes three ticks to get to pi. Divide pi by 3 to get the tick interval, pi over 3. Label the ticks. There is a vertical stretch by a scale factor of 3. Multiply all the y values of the graph by 3. Rewrite the function to get the c parameter. c is negative 2 pi over 3, so we have a horizontal translation of 2 pi over 3 units left. Translate the graph 2 pi over 3 units left. We are asked to draw the graph over the domain where theta is between negative 2 pi and 2 pi. Extend the graph to fill the domain. This is the completed graph. 